Well, hello again, everybody, and I wish you a happy Sunday. I seem to want to do videos on Sunday now because it's nice and quiet in my house. <laughs> So, um, so March, as many of you may know, is National Craft Month, and so I thought I would do um, a couple of extra videos this month to share with you. And today, I thought I would share um, or demo a kind of a watercolor sketch again because I'm just really into doing my watercolors at the moment, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's so relaxing. And I was thinking of doing something that's um, kind of spring themed uh, in the UK. It's Mother's Day coming up and so I thought it would be kind of nice to do a little Mother's Day um, card or I'm going to do it on watercolour paper and then I will maybe put it onto a card for a Mother's Day card. So let's get going. Um, I'm going to use my Micron pens again today because these are my favourite favourite pens to sketch with and probably a bit of a a Sharpie pen too and I'm going to use my Koi watercolour uh, palette again my very well loved and well used Koi watercolours I've got some new ones coming tomorrow so I'm super excited and um, I also have I haven't used these much and I'm going to give it a try because um, this could be fun so these are uh, watercolour brushes and they each have three different points so we'll try those and we'll see how it goes all right so first I need to do a little sketch and I'm going to do something kind of um, whimsical um, nature related because that's you know me I like to do my nature stuff so I'm just going to do a little line here for the land and then I'm going to do kind of an unusual little leafy tree sketch so here we go I've kind of been doing these at night. Okay, and then we're going to... Okay, so it's a tree, but in the shape of a leaf. <laughs> and the next thing I'm going to do is give him a few little extras, some friends. And then I... I'm drawn to the shape of leaves at the moment for some reason, leaves and swirls. And I think we need a third one. Which side should we do it? Put it this side. And this one is going to just point downwards. And then we'll put a few little leaves on the stalks. And um, my sketches are, you know, they're not realistic because that's just not the way I do things. Um, they kind of of places and things that I like to be surrounded by and I love Tim Burton movies because I feel like I can escape into those um, environments. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is um, that's just a very basic simple sketch and I'm going to just do this on the leaves because what I'm going to do next is uh, watercolour it and then I'll go in and do some more detailing once the watercolours have dried. the only sketching I'm going to do right now. So now I'm going to take put those pens aside. Let's do some nice colours here. So, so to get the water out of these watercolour pens, um, you just have to squeeze here and it brings the water to the side. But I'm going to do it over here so I don't drip water on my actual paper. Oops, let's come over here. Let's see if we can bring these over a bit closer. Okay, so let's do some nice bright colour and I'd like to do maybe two or three different colours on the leaf here and it's not a natural angle for me to be painting out here I just want you to see what I'm doing and as I've said many times before I'm not a professional painter it's just something I enjoy and I've been uh, taking a few little online classes on different watercolour techniques which has been quite fun. Okay so let's go and do a little bit of like a, a red. Hopefully that will be kind of graduated here and we can always add more water and help it along. I'm just going to turn this a little bit so it's easier for me to, there we go, 
I'm going to squeeze the brush slightly, get a little more water out. There we go. And then, and I don't even mind if it goes outside the lines because I think that's just the paint is going to go where it wants to go. <laughs> and we just sort of want to let that dissolve into the paper a little bit there. And then I'm going to push that up a little so we can try and eliminate a really hard line there. I love warm, bright colours. Okay, so the next thing, I'm just going to wipe that and then squeeze my brush a little over here, which you can't see. Um, let's do a little yellow. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to fill the rest of the leaf in with the yellow and then just Oops, a little kitty hair there. <gasps> Cat hairs get into everything. <laughs> just put a little more yellow in here and then I'm going to push that yellow up a little bit here so it kind of blends in with the others. There we go. It's not perfect, but I like the colour scheme on that. Okay, so let's turn it the right way around. So there's the leaf, and then we're going to do the kind of the the trunk, I suppose. <laughs> so let's take a nice green here. I don't want it too I don't want my watercolours to be too bold. I like them to be fairly dreamy looking, so And I'm sure I'm holding my brush wrong, I don't know. I always say, you know, hold your brush how you're comfortable and um, we all find different ways of working, don't we? Okay, let's pull a little bit more here. All right. And you see I've gone over the line there, but um, I, I'm fine with that. And then plus we can always go in with the sketch pen when this is dry and do more fun things. Okay, so let's hold that up there so you can see I've got a little bit of a trunk, a little bit of a big leafy tree there. Just going to wipe that paintbrush and then we're going to do these other little leaves. Okay, so let's do some nice colours. Um, let's go with a kind of a purpley. Okay, we'll do this one first. And sometimes I just like to really roughly do these um, because sometimes I also like to go in with, uh, you know, the glitter glue or other, um, like, different layers. Let's do a purple one. Let's do... What, what colour is that? <laughs> it's kind of a deep red. Let's have a look. This might be too dark, but we'll try. Oh, no, that's okay. We'll do that. That works. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe I'll put a little bit of um, orangey yellow in there just to highlight it a little bit. And sometimes it's so subtle you don't see it on the camera, but when you look at it in person, you can see what I've done here. But I'll show you a close up when it's finished. There, okay, so that's that leaf. And now we need to do the final leaf and we'll do that with a really pretty blue here. I just want to make sure it's not too dark. There we go. Well, it's very watery. I'm just going to do it because that might be a little too watery. So let's pop a little bit of whoops, a little bit of tissue on there. Soak up some of the water. Dab my brush again just a tiny bit. Let's see. That's better. And then just spread that colour around the leaf. So I said it was going to be colourful and uh, it certainly is turning out to be very colourful. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do are these other tiny little leaves here and I'm going to take kind of the same colour green as the trunk here because I quite like that, that green. But I'm just going to just very roughly fill these in and then 
because later on we will go in with the sketch pen. And again, I've just got a little too much water on then. You just need a little bit of tissue. You'll soak up that excess water. There we go. Yeah, watercolouring at the moment for me is just my go-to. Watercolouring and sketching. And these tiny little leaves here. I apologise if there's any shadowing going on here. Okay, all right. So we have the main picture and I'm just going to rinse my brush here, squeeze a little, you can't see me doing it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> and then what we want to do is fill this uh, ground area in. So I've got a frog in my throat. Okay, so I'm going to take a brush with a slightly wider, there we go, this has got the wider nib on it. Squeeze a little bit there and then I'm going to go into this, it's a very earthy green and I might do two shades of green on this so and I'm just going to spread that around and I want it quite watery so I'm going to squeeze my brush a little bit as I'm spreading this, there we go and then drag the colour that's quite dark but because there's water we can spread that paint around. There we go. And then what I'm going to also do, because I like layers, I'm going to take another green so we can have like a, so it's not so flat. I won't go to the bottom because it's, and we'll go in with this uh, grassy green which I used on the trunk. We're just going to add a little bit of that in there. Spread that to the ends or the edges of the paper here. Okay. I told you it wasn't going to be very realistic. I like whimsical. I like things that are different. <laughs> okay, so now what we need to do is let that dry. I'm going to move that aside. So we're going to allow it to dry and then I will come back with the next part in the next video. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed that. I'll be right back.